hey guys welcome to my channel so today we are going to be making goulash something very simple and easy um so we're going to be getting started here but i did just want to let you guys know thank you for stopping by you know just don't forget to hit that like button subscribe also i wanted to tell you guys about my family channel i haven't posted yet but i wanted you guys to join so here is the picture here from my family channel and you can check up on me there um so but without further ado let's get started guys so we have some Italian bread we have your elbow noodles black pepper total seasoning Larry seasoning garlic pepper onion powder um, garlic powder onion powder parsley tomato paste and your you know pasta sauce then I grab these from the freezer, some yellow and red bell peppers, onions, diced tomatoes, and green peppers. And I have about four, almost four pounds of ground beef, 80% um, lean and 20% fat, but we're gonna drain the fat anyways. Um, so that's what we have going on. So we're about to um, get started guys and I decided to do goulash because goulash is easy and fast so we're gonna go ahead and put this in the pot here And we're just gonna start rounding up that beef. guys as you can see I have the ground beef chopped up you know more manageable so we're just gonna go ahead and put those um, bell peppers in there I, I love the colors so I just wanted to give this dish a, you know some color look at the color just pop the yellow and the red um, peppers and then this right here I put about two ounces of onions chopped onions And you can put how much you, you know, whatever you want to use. I like a lot of onions in mine, so I use a lot of onions and green peppers. I like a lot of veggies in my pasta. And there's the green peppers. Again, that was about two ounces of green peppers. then you want to go ahead and um, we're going to put the tomatoes didn't use too much of those tomatoes just wanted to give it a little fresh tomato taste so I'm extra I like to add extra <laughs> but look how pretty that looks Yeah, guys, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Mm -hmm. 
and we drained out that fat so there is no fat in there everything is drained out then you want to go ahead and add the tomato paste now I add the tomato paste just to just for my sauce to be a little on the thicker side um, because without it the sauce is pretty um, it can be watery a little bit so I just like my sauce to stick to the noodles and kind of be like hearty a hearty meal but you're gonna go ahead and add your uh, pasta sauce I use two cans well two bottles of um, pasta sauce I have I like for the kids to um, you know have it for leftovers so that is why I made such a big pot of it then you want to go ahead and fold the ground beef into the um, pasta sauce so just keep folding up the ground beef um, just till everything gets mixed together pretty good And just keep going keep doing it and then we're after we get done with this you're just gonna go ahead and just let it simmer I let mine simmer for probably about uh, between 30 and 40 minutes I let it uh, simmer so it can get all of the flavors um, you know just get all of the flavors in there so that's what we did here I did add some salt and I did add some, um, a little bit of oil. Your noodles. Alright, so now we're just going to add our noodles into the pasta, the spaghetti sauce. And you don't want to add too much all at once. Um, you probably want to do it maybe about a couple times. Not everything all at once. So I'm just going to add these noodles and then I'm going to mix everything in. And then I'll do it, a, I'll repeat it um, a second time. Look at those noodles. They are piping hot. So then you want to just fold in your noodles in the pasta sauce. And you just got to be careful because you will make a mess. Those noodles will jump out the pot. Um, so just take your time. Mix it all up together. And when I tell you the kids absolutely love goulash, they love goulash. Um, it lasts us about a good three days. I make a big pot of it, as you can see here. Um, yeah, we just eat on that throughout the week with some salad, um, garlic bread kids love it and you know it has its vegetables in there too that's a little sneaky tip to get those vegetables in there for the kids to eat their vegetables <laughs> all right so then yeah so we're just gonna go ahead a second time in and add the rest of your pasta um, elbow noodles 
and then after that once it's all mixed up you are done now I did add some sugar here um, I didn't do it on camera um, because I know there is a debate sugar that doesn't go in pasta um, and sugar goes in pasta so I did add a little bit of sugar in mine um, being that I added that tomato paste and fresh tomatoes and the pasta sauce I added some sugar just to cut up the acid a little bit for us um, so yeah so I added some shredded cheddar cheese I'm gonna let that melt and then we are going to dress it up plate it and show it off to you guys Look at that. Mmm, yummy. Parmesan cheese. And some parsley just to make it pretty. Look at that, guys that looks delicious your family your friends will love this dish it's easy again like I stated I hope you guys enjoy this dish I hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching again guys if you haven't already go ahead and join that family channel I'm gonna be posting over there everything that I can't post over here um, and I'll see you guys over there that's where the, the fun is um, this is just food and everything regarding food but head over there I'm gonna be you're gonna get some insights of me look at that guys that looks delicious enjoy guys thank you for watching until next time stay safe and blessed bye